Hey everybody, <laughs> that's right, we haven't been cancelled yet because I paid the bills this month. Over time. And finally, I'd like to ruin a franchise. <laughs> Power! Alright, let's face it, uh, my fiance paid this month's uh, internet bill. Uh, comedy! <laughs> Stay in school. As I get closer to 30, I'm realizing that um, I'm watching a lot more adult programming than I used to. Uh, not dirty pictures, by the way. <laughs> my fantasies belong to home and garden television. That's right, HGTV. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to afford a home, but uh, I just don't make that money. Unless you help me out and let the ads play. That's right, let me have that sweet, sweet internet money. Let the ads play. But I just like watching uh, people with better incomes than me uh, buy homes and uh, rehab homes and then realize that, oh, we don't have enough money to rehab, and then it falls apart. Uh, it's the best kind of reality. <laughs> Failure. So let's take a look at some of my favorite shows. The first one is Property Brothers. Uh, this is the eye candy of this network. It's got Jonathan and Drew Scott, identical twins from the Great North. It's actually Canada's... Uh, major import or export. They both go in, they go in, uh, I never took economics. This show, they have like four shows. It's hard to tell which one is which, but I think the main one is where they help their clients um, buy um, old homes and then make them into the dream home, blah, blah, blah. The best part about this show is um, they're basically the same person. I don't think they're twins. Look at the evidence. It's the editing. They're never in the same room. And it's CGI, and when they're in the room, mirrors. Yeah, that's right. I have a film degree. I kind of know what I'm talking about. Ah, conspiracies. Another show that I love and hate at the same time is called Flipper Flop. Do you ever wonder what happened to uh, two cast members of Laguna Beach? Well, they flip and sell houses now. I don't know if they were actually on the show. I assume because didn't everybody in the Orange County be in the show? It, it was a show and like the early 2000s following a, um, a group of kids in Laguna Beach and their trials and tribulations in high school. Anyway, back to Flip or Flop. The husband and wife team uh, join forces to kind of buy foreclosed homes and uh, make that sweet, sweet um, real estate money. Here's the thing. They never flop. The show, oh, wait, they're always able to sell. It's ridiculous. Around like minute 30 or 40, they come up with like this big problem. Uh-oh, are we going to be able to sell the house? Commercial break. They're able to sell the house. The show should be called Flip or Wait for It. We sold the house. I want to see a flop. That's the whole reason why I want to watch the show. I want them to like, when they're like digging up a pool, they end up finding a, a Indian burial ground or, or um more realistically, they don't make a profit and then lose their own home. I want... Pure reality, Home and Garden Television. Give it to me. Finally, my favorite show, along with the other two that just mentioned, is House Hunters, both international and domestic. Now, for about a half hour, you watch a couple or a guy with more money than me choose a home out of three. They go to three homes, and then they choose one to be like, oh, I'm going to build a family here. Uh, sounds really boring, but wait for it, because more often than not, they are idiots. And then they complain about something cosmetic, like, oh, this wallpaper just doesn't do, for it, do it for me, or, man, that refrigerator is so 1992. You can replace all that. You're looking for location. Ah, oh, dumb people and their money. I want, I want to be dumb with money. Ah, uh, arts degree! I love playing a game on this show. Uh, you can tell which house they're going to buy within like the first 10, 15 minutes because they do interviews sometimes in the home that they choose. You can tell like in the background like, oh, there's a cuckoo clock back there and like 30 minutes later, oh, it's the same cuckoo clock. <laughs> Drink, it's, it's a really boring uh, game, but it makes the half hour go by really, really quick. Um, well, hey, you know what? That's it for overtime this week. Uh, thank you for Joining us, be sure to tune in next week because I'll be ruining other TV shows, possibly some magic tricks, maybe even reveal Coca-Cola's secret ingredient, polar bears. We'll see you next time.